Marie Laveau is New Orleans voodoo queen. She was born in 1801 to a freed slave named Marguerite and a free as well as prosperous mulatto businessman named Charles Laveau. Marie was the first generation of her family to be born free. Laveau's great-grandmother came to New Orleans as a slave from West Africa in 1743, and her grandmother, Catherine, eventually was bought by Francoise Pomme, a free woman of color and a successful entrepreneur. There's nowhere in the world like New Orleans, and it is the perfect backdrop for the legend of Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen of New Orleans. A black priestess of astounding beauty, Madame Laveau wielded tremendous power in her community, and rumors of her magical abilities were so persistent that visitors still visit her grave to leave tokens in exchange for small requests. Voodoo has always been a big part of New Orleans history. No other city encapsulates so well the mix of the old world and the new, and no other city displays so prominently its belief in the supernatural. And no other city has its share of stories that would seem impossible anywhere else but there. Although voodoo is vastly different from the pop culture perception, while zombies and dolls do make up part of voodoo beliefs, in reality, voodoo is a combination of West African religions brought over by slaves, the Christianity they adopted, and Native American traditions they blended in. Marie Laveau was actually a devout Catholic all her life, and to her voodoo was not incompatible with her Catholic faith. The front room of her cottage was full of altars filled with candles, holy images, and offerings. She would lead weekly meetings where the participants would dress all in white, chant and sing, and leave an offering of liquor and food to the spirits. Marie Laveau also saw individual clients, giving them advice on everything from winning lawsuits to attracting lovers. When she died, her obituary in the New York Times claimed that lawyers, legislators, planters, and merchants all came to pay their respects and seek her offices. Although people of all races visited Laveau and attended the ceremonies she led, the white community as a whole never accepted voodoo as a legitimate religion, which is partly why today it is still associated with the occult. Racism and a natural tendency for newspapers to seek out sensational stories led to the descriptions of Laveau's ceremonies as occult, drunken orgies. Laveau was able to rise to such a prominent position in New Orleans through a combination of her strong personality, charity works, and natural flair for theatrics. During her lifetime, she performed notable acts of community service, such as nursing yellow fever patients, posting bail for free women of color, and visiting condemned prisoners to pray with them in their final hours. Since her death in 1881, her legend has only continued to grow. Marie Laveau was a powerful priestess and is doubtless a fascinating figure of history for having been a black woman with great influence in the Deep South during the days of slavery. 
Her rise wouldn't have been possible anywhere but New Orleans. Thank you for watching my video. Please rate, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful evening. Blessed be.